We're now going to look at the ribbon interface that's available to us in all versions of AutoCAD from 2009 and upwards. So that includes AutoCAD Electrical. Now the ribbon is at the top of the screen. It's this big long ribbon of commands here going all the way across the top of your screen. And what will happen is that will load up automatically when you open up your version of AutoCAD or in our case AutoCAD Electrical 2015. Now you'll notice just above the ribbon you have tabs. So at the moment I'm in the Home tab on the ribbon. If I go to Project, I've got all my AutoCAD Electrical Project tools. If I go here, I've got my schematic tools, my panel tools, my reporting tools, import export data, conversion tools, and so on. Once I get past conversion tools, I go to Plugins, and you can see there that I've got certain plugins I can use. Things like the Exchange App Manager. So I've downloaded, let's say, an app from the AutoCAD Exchange Store. That's where I manage them. I can also manage my mobile data. I can explore content and import what is known as an SKP file if I need to. I've also got my Autodesk 360 tools, which we'll cover later on. I'll show you those later. And we've also got our BIM 360 tools. Now, I'm running the building design suite on my laptop. So when I go to BIM, I can use things like BIM 360 Glue and Clash Pinpoint, which are available to me within some of the cloud tools from Autodesk. I can also look at performance. I can do performance reports and measure the performance of my AutoCAD Electrical if I want to. I might need to do that to send to Autodesk. For example, if I need to generate that for a crash report, I might have had AutoCAD Electrical crash. That gives you the tools to measure the performance and send it to Autodesk to their support team. I've also got featured apps as well. If there's any featured apps that are featured in the Exchange App Store. So you can see there, connect to Exchange, and there's the feature tools there. So I can go and download those. Some of them you pay for, some of them you don't. And it's very much like the Apple App Store, for example, if you've got an iPhone or an iPad. So let's go back now to the Home tab. And you can see on the ribbon itself, we have panels. So there's a Draw panel, there's a Modify panel. There's a Layers panel. Now those will highlight if you've got a flyout menu. So if I click on that flyout menu, you can see there on the panel I've got extra commands. I can click on that pin there, like so, and that'll pin that open so I can use these tools here as well. Now if I unpin it, as soon as I move away, it goes back into the ribbon. So that's how your ribbon functions. That's how you use it when you're working with AutoCAD Electrical. Now, there are various ways in which you can display those icons on the ribbon as well. It's this funny little icon just here. Now, there's a flyout menu available. I can minimize to tabs. So it minimizes so that I've just got the tabs. And when I click on the selected tab, so let's say project here, it'll bring those tools up and the panels like so. When I move away, they go back into the tabs at the top. If I go here and select minimize to panel titles, so there's my panel title, so I'm in the Project tab, and there's the panels, Project Tools, Other Tools, and so on. So you can see they're highlight when I hover over them. Here again, I've also got Minimize to Panel Buttons. So that will give me the panel buttons. There's the Project tab. If I go to the Home tab, you see I've got Draw, hover over it, Modify, hover over it, and so on. Now it's up to you how you want to work with your AutoCAD ribbon. You've also got one final option, which is Cycle Through All, and I can use this little white button here and just click, and that takes me to each different setting. So that takes me back now to the default setting there, like so. Now, another thing that is just below the ribbon, and I'm going to class this as part of the ribbon, I do that in all of the training that I do, are these tabs, these drawing tabs here. So there's a new tab, there's a drawing there, there's also a drawing there as well. Now, when I hover over those tabs, you can see that it gives me the option to go into the Model tab in the drawing and the Layout tab in the drawing. It also gives me the option to close the drawing if I want to as well. I can click on that cross there. So that gives me various different options to work with just underneath the ribbon there as well. I can open up a new drawing as well by clicking on the little plus sign there. So there's my new tab, and that will allow me to go and open up a new drawing. That will open up the new drawing dialog box. So you can see, utilizing your ribbon, there are a lot of tools that are available to you. For the purposes of this course, we are going to use the ribbon all the way throughout the course. 
So if you are used to an AutoCAD Classic interface, please make sure that you switch the ribbon on and make sure that you use it for this particular course.